you're watching the Calvary Fellowship Weekly. I'm Abby, and I've got a few things to share with you. If you're looking for something fun to do this summer, come out and cheer on our softball team, the Heavenly Hitters. Harvard.com. While our monthly men's breakfast and women's coffee are taking a break this summer, you can still stay connected in our weekly Bible study. Both the men and the women have a Wednesday morning study that is continuing through the summer. The men meet at 6.30 a.m. at the Starbucks in Gig Harbor near Target to enjoy coffee, fellowship, and to study God's Word. While the woman will be at Laura Calvert's home in Gig Harbor at 9.30 a.m., where they will be going through a study on the Psalms this summer. These groups are open for anyone to join. You can contact the group leader for more information at calvarygigharbor.com. Now here's Dallas with an update on the best connection. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Dallas, my wife Nikki. Just coming to you this morning with a little uh, message from Bass Connection. So first of all, I wanted to thank everybody for the awesome support that you've given to uh, the mission so far uh, this year and just the funds that we've raised and, and the time that you guys spent um, with the baked goods and everything. The stuff was awesome. We're super appreciative. And uh, all those donations, all those funds raised are going to ensure that the kids, the Bass kids, have an amazing time in the United States this summer. So we're super grateful for all that. Finances are super important part to any mission. Um, but I have a special request this morning. Um, Nikki and I started in the Basque ministry five years ago and just remember standing and it was like standing in front of this huge mountain and thinking how in the world are we going to climb to the top of this thing I know I know God has amazing views amazing things planned for us and the journey is going to be amazing but how do we get all the way up there and you know at times serving in this mission it's you know it can be discouraging I mean it can just be downright exhausting and and sometimes you feel like you're just standing in, in the parking lot at the trailhead and haven't even started up the mountain yet, you know? And so, um, you know, but I know that um, in 1 John 5, 14 says, and this is the confidence we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And so what I want to ask you guys this morning is to just partner with us in prayer um, just just commit this to prayer in your family in your quiet times um, we can use all the prayer that we can get not just for us but for anybody that's serving in, in this mission to the Basque people it's just super important and I know that we can go boldly before our King the God that created the universe and ask anything of him and he hears us and so I would just ask for you um, Nikki and I will be traveling to Basque country uh, next week to um, pick up the students we're gonna be meeting with a bunch of families that we've never met before and families who who've, we've encountered their kids in the past and just pray that you would ask God to open their hearts and just create opportunities for us to witness to them and uh, to just make it an awesome time to to share who Christ is um, with the Basque people so if you could do that we'd just super appreciate it and thank you so much Calvary we look forward to participating with you in this mission this summer see you guys soon and finally, here's Ane with the Basque Word of the Week. Guys, yo, your Basque Word for the Week is Ser Modus, which means, how are you? So, Ser Modus. And that's all I have for you this week. If you'd like more information, check out your bulletin, the church app, or visit calvarygigharbor.com.